Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and this is the Bushmills 10 year old single malt. So let me get it into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now, this is the youngest of Bushmills kind of age stated core range. They have got a lot of whiskies in their portfolio and they're all trying to do something a little bit different. So for the blends, for the white label, you've got that kind of classic easy mixing, easy kind of lower price whiskey. For the red bush, you've got something maybe a little bit more kind of interesting, a little bit more bourbon influence. So leading into those vanilla notes, the black bush leads very heavily into the sherry notes and it kind of gives you those kind of fruity flavors that a lot of people associate with bushmills. They've also got um, cask finishes with American oak and Caribbean oak, each bringing their own different influences. But for this 10 year old whiskey, they're going for something easy to drink, easy to enjoy, a pure single malt that's just gonna deliver a very nice whiskey. So what they were aiming for with this whiskey was a single malt that's approachable. It's 10 years old, but it's not overly oaky. It comes in at 40%, so it's not gonna to be too strong. It's not gonna overpower your taste buds. It's not gonna be a hard to drink whiskey. It was aged in bourbon casks and sherry casks. So you are gonna get those classic Irish whiskey notes. You're gonna get your caramel, your vanilla, you're gonna get some fruitiness, but because it's all Bushmill single malt, you are gonna get a lot of that kind of fruity funk. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Bushmills, their single malt, their malted barley that they use for their single malt whiskies or that goes into their blends, has a very strong fruitiness, kind of a honeyed fruitiness to it. So it's very distinctive and if you're tasting whiskey from another brand that has been sourced from Bushmills or has had the malt made by Bushmills, you can definitely taste it because it's very distinctive. So this is going to be a whiskey that's distinctively Bushmills, but still a very approachable, easy to drink whiskey. So let's get in for the nose on this whiskey. Oh yeah, right there, fruitiness, honey, apples, pears. It's got that, because it's a single malt, single malt whiskey does have this kind of, I call it like a funkiness. Some people call it like a dustiness. It's definitely the maltiness, the characteristic coming through. It's very very noticeable and it sits on top of all those kind of apple notes the pear notes there's a little bit of kind of a floral note as well coming through maybe that's coming through from those sherry casks but it's just very nice that single malt funk that i always get it kind of comes across in this whiskey almost like a fudginess you know that kind of sugary kind of heavy eatiness to it and that's kind of rounding out all the flavors. So there is a bit of citrus, but again, it's rounded out. It's not a very sharp citrus. It's very nice, easy to get to know citrus. There's a bit of a cocoa powder, but it's not overly cocoa-y. It's kind of softened into like a milk chocolate. Like I said, you got those apples, pears, a little bit of maybe, maybe a little of like a stone fruit as well coming through from that sherry influence, but it's all rounded out and just made very approachable. So let's approach the palate on the Bushmills 10. Cheers. Mm, okay. Vanilla right up front. The moment it hits your tongue, you get the kind of natural vanilla pod taste. You also get a nice spreading kind of spiciness, kind of like a spiced honey kind of deal. Very nice. A little bit of that floral note as well. Some of that oakiness coming through. The kind of the floral and the honey note almost feels like a, like a honeysuckle, you know that plant, a honeysuckle, like if you, if it's warm a day, you're near the honeysuckle, you can smell it, it's that kind of flavour coming through. I'm also getting some of that fruitiness, like those orchard fruits, the kind of stone fruit as well, so I'm going to go in for another sip and see what I find. Okay, after letting it sit in my mouth for a bit, you definitely get those orchard fruits, the apples, the pears, maybe into like a like a melon territory, like it is quite soft. Obviously that malty note is there. The maltiness is just kind of covering everything. That Bushmills malt, very distinctive. And then there's like a little bit of like apricot again, but the apricot for me was more present in the nose than in the palate. But that sherry influence, it's there, but it's not kind of standing up above all the other flavors. So with that in mind, I'm going to go in again for a final sip. I'm going to talk about the finish on the Bushmills 10. Okay, so for me, the finish fades pretty quickly. Like it's a crisp finish. There's nothing really 
wrong with the finish. There's also not a huge evolution on the finish, like that sweet vanilla note falls off, the fruitiness falls off, it leaves you with the kind of spiciness, the oakiness, maybe a little bit of floral notes. Yeah, the floral notes as well, they're hanging on. But it's just a very kind of crisp but short finish, and that might be due to the fact that it is 40% ABV. Maybe if it was 43 or 45 or 46, it would have a bit more weight, a bit more kind of length. But if they did do that, then maybe the palate wouldn't have been as approachable, the nose maybe wouldn't have been as approachable as this one is. So if you're going for like a middle of the road, approachable kind of whiskey, like they were seemingly going for, maybe that 40% is what you need to keep the whole whiskey in balance. I mean, this is a very good example of what you might call a table whiskey or like a staple whiskey. One that you just have on the shelf, on the table, if someone comes over, you can pour a glass on them. You know they're gonna enjoy it. It might not be the best whiskey in the world they've ever tried, but they are going to enjoy it. And I could almost see this whiskey maybe enticing some gin drinkers. So gin, it has these floral notes, it has these floral aromas, and it has this kind of clean flavor to it, this kind of clean characteristic. And I could definitely see the Bushmills 10 bringing in some gin drinkers, maybe giving them like a bit of a floral note they're used to that crisp finish maybe might entice some gin drinkers over so as a kind of a approachable easy to get to know easy to drink whiskey this is a pretty good example and i think that's all just to say about this whiskey i mean i know i'm going to enjoy the rest of this bottle i'm definitely going to enjoy the rest of this glass i've also got a cocktail recipe coming out on friday featuring bushmills whiskey so if you want to see that make sure you scroll down hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button because I put out reviews on Wednesdays and cocktail recipes on Friday. So you wanna see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.